Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change a PCB hose on your 2002 Toyota Celica GT. Um, if you've seen my previous video where I changed the PCB valve, you'll notice that when I took it off, this old hose, it was super brittle, and it ended up cracking. As you can see here, I ordered a brand new OEM one. It was about $15. I'll have a link in the description. Basically, this end is going to go onto the hose itself. Whereas this end goes onto the other part of the engine. So the reason I'm doing this, um, for one, right now I just kind of have it rigged and I know it has a small air leak. I still have a low idle. Um, it idles about four or 500 RPMs just depending on the day. And so I'm hoping that replacing this PCV hose will help with that issue. And maybe it'll make it easier to drive because when you're sitting at a stoplight, you're sitting at 500 RPM. You have to rev it up to at least 1,000, then let off the clutch. Whereas if it's having the proper air pressure and idling maybe at 1,000, it might be easier just to release the clutch, give it gas, and take off on a heel on a stoplight. We'll have to just kind of test it and see if that helps at all. So the first step, you're going to want to get your engine cover off. So to do that, just grab it right here, pull that hose out, pull it out from this it's going to have two little pins right here. You just like untwist those. And then right here, it's two 10 millimeter bolts. And then you just kind of wiggle this part off like that. If you've seen my last video where I changed the PCB hose, um, you'll remember that I nicked it in the last one, said it needed to be replaced. Well, it ended up ripping a ton. So I rigged it up with just this cheap hose I got off from AutoZone or something. And it really doesn't work. It doesn't hold the pressure well because I had to use a coupler and a connector. So we're going to be replacing that back with the OEM part. So as you can see, here's the PCV valve. Here's the hose. If you follow it, it comes down here right onto the engine. So to remove yours, you're going to have a clip here as well as, let's see, right here. Uh, mine doesn't have it on there because I lost it, but I'll show you what those look like. So with that being said, I would take off the clip here. You would just take the pliers to it pinch down on it, wiggle it off. We're going to get this end of the hose off as well as down here. You're going to have another little clip. It's a little bit bigger one, but you're going to squeeze it together, pull it up, and these will come off. Now that those non-existent clips are off, just go ahead, wiggle it off. Just, they're not on there. They're very tight and nothing's going to come out. These are just for air. Might be a little bit dirty. And this one will have to get off as well. Just like that, you have your old one off. Like I said, mine's all rigged up because it ended up splitting, so I had to improvise for the time being, but yours will look just like the OEM one. All right, now you can see it's fully removed. Remove the hose from this end right here, as well as this end right here, and we'll install the new one. So to install the new one, there's the smaller end that goes on the PCB hose. There's this wider end, which goes on the, I guess, part of the engine block right down here. So first, we'll slide our clips on. Like I said, yours are going to look a lot different. I have these different ones because I lost the OEM ones. You're just going to put them on each end, and I'll show you how to fasten it into place. I tighten down my clips just so it'll keep the hose on in case I guess there's any back pressure. I'm not quite sure what the point of the little, I guess, pins are or clamps they have, but just tighten it down so it's moderately tight. And then we got the one on down here. You can't really see it. Then we'll put the engine cover back on, close the hood, start it up, and we'll see what it does. Okay, now that we've gone for a drive around the block, see the vehicle is fully heated up right there um, the idle is about the same and the ticking noise on the engine it it still kind of makes that tick I don't think it's bad I think that's just the I guess variable valve timing but anyway now that we've replaced the PCV hose um, it didn't exactly adjust the idle speed I'll show you that in a clip in a minute one thing I did notice is in my car when you shift at lower rpms um, which I usually do just to try to save gas I don't redline it everywhere like some of you guys but um, when I do, the transmission almost slams, kind of, and I mean, maybe it could be the transmission wearing, but it's only 130,000 miles or other things. But now that that's replaced, I've noticed that when I shift at lower RPMs now, now that that PCV valve is the right amount of air pressure, I've noticed that when I shift, it doesn't really do the slamming anymore. So I've been thinking that it gives it the right amount of pressure to keep the RPMs up while you have the clutch in, while you're shifting, instead of them dropping down. I think that's kind of why it was slamming just because you try to time your shift right, but you're just barely, you know, the RPMs are coming down quick when you don't have the right air pressure, and so that's causing the slamming, but I've noticed that you can shift it really nice at lower RPMs now, and before it would never shift nice unless you really rev it up to like 6,000, then make the shift, and somehow that would give it enough air pressure to keep the RPMs up. So that fixed that problem. I didn't expect that, but it seemed to work for me. And lastly, just let me know in the comments what your Toyota Celica temperature is. I'm curious if yours sits on that bottom line or the very top line. I'm, I'm assuming it's somewhere in the middle. 
like I said, mine sits on the middle, then it has that blank line, and then it has the, I guess, the overheated line. But I wonder if any of your guys' temperatures are lower or higher. Just let me know. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and subscribe for more.